Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to highlight a, uh, a program I wrote. This program on its own doesn't do a lot, but writing it inspired me to make another program that does a lot more. You can actually see that program right here, and I'm going to make a separate video for that program that I'll upload in tandem with this video. Because this one has a lot more functionality than this one, but this file is still pretty neat. So I guess I'll uh, run it and then I'll show you the source code and show you how it does what it does. So it gives a description of what it does real quick. It says, prints out the time, the date, and the directory listing for the desktop. Then it'll go to a TXT file on the desktop. So it's pretty basic. It gives you a choice at the start. So you've got four things you can do. You can go with the default, which is DIR, the bare format, which is DIR slash B, wide format, which is DIR slash W, and custom, which is what it says on the tin, custom. So um, I'll just do a wide printout. All right, so. It asks, it says you must close the notepad file for it to delete for it to delete on option two. Because I'll explain that when I go through the source actually. So you have four options. You can view and save, view and delete, exit and save, exit and delete. So uh, let's view and delete this. So it went up on my other monitor. <laughs> Here it is. So here's the file it gives. Today's the date, today is Friday, two twenty-one twenty fourteen. It is 23334691, which is pretty close. Um, I imagine. Yeah, I printed this out, then I looked at it, so yeah, that explains it. And it was what I have on my desktop. You can see a couple MP4s I have that I haven't uploaded yet. Um, this PNG file I need to upload. A couple batch files that are experimental. A um, ton of other stuff, and that's it. So that's how the file works. And then it deletes it, and that's the end of it. So let's take a look at the source. All right, pretty typical stuff. So first, I'll show you how I use that custom. Uh, how I use the custom way, because that was kind of an interesting way to do it. So we have a choice. We have if it equals one, then you set user dir, which is a variable inside. Where is it? I'm crazy. Where is it? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Here it is. It sets this variable equal to dir, which would just give you a run-of-the-mill directory listing. Um, if it isn't one, then it goes to a verify. This is how I use string conditionals. There's probably a more efficient way to do this, and I really should figure out what that way is. But for now, that's how I do it. If I have like four options and I need custom weight things for each option, I'll just use a verify, which means I'll go to another label. So if it isn't one, it goes to a verify to check if it's two, and if it's not two, it checks if it's three, and if it's not three, then it goes to four, because it has to be four, right? Makes sense to me. All right. So um, here's what four does. So it, set, it uses set p user dir equal to whatever the user says, and then it goes to print, which is right here. Every single label goes to print because I was having problems with uh, ordering, like the labels weren't going right. But anyways, that's all there really is to show for this particular uh, file. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of stuff to talk about. There's one other point I brought up a little earlier, which was um. You have to close the notepad file for it to work on option two. And there's a reason for that. Let me show you this. Let me show you how this works. So if you do two, it shows print.txt, it runs that. However, in the command interpreter, what happens is it's on this command and it won't go to the next command until this command has been finished. So you have to close that for the command interpreter to continue. Which is really weird, and I'm not sure how I'd get around it. So if you have an idea for that, go ahead and let me know what that is in the comments. Um, I'm not going to make this available on Dropbox unless someone specifically wants it for some crazy reason. However, the next video I upload will have that file available on Dropbox because it actually is kind of useful for something. For something. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.